Ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm gonna tell you how you can play all your old school consoles from your smartphone very easy and how to turn your phone into a professional gaming console so you can play your PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, uh, Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Switch, you name it. In this video I'm gonna tell you which app it is and how you install it. I'm gonna show you how I'm playing the different emulators very easy and at the end of the video I'm gonna tell you where you can find your ROMs and your gaming files so you can enjoy the this uh, application okay let's get into it so as you can see I with my controller I can scroll from different uh, gaming consoles to choose one and play the game this uh, this application is called Daishio you can see it up here that's the icon and that's the name of it that's how you write it yeah and you can just download it completely for free in your app store and this application actually is uh, not only an emulator but it's also a launcher so when you start this application you can uh, you can choose your emulator here here you can see for example games that you your favorite games from different consoles and when you click on them you can start them immediately with your controller very controller friendly and if I do like this, I can get to my programs and here to my settings, just as if I'm using a console on itself. Yeah. And actually what this does, and that's very nice. It's not an emulator that just emulates all consoles. No, for each console that you see here, for example, those are the consoles I chose. Um, you can choose which emulator you would like to use for your ps2 emulation for your psp emulation ps1 nintendo emulation or switch you can choose the different emulators so you choose one that fits your needs the best and then you when you start that uh, start uh, that console it starts that emulator completely automatically and you can start uh, gaming okay now let's see how you set the set things up and how you can start gaming let's go so how to set it up when you start the application for the first time you will you won't see this immediately you will have a download you will have a download widget when you press on download you can choose all the different consoles that you like and there are many 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 consoles in this application you will even dreamcast for example you can choose whatever you like and you press import when you do that you get this screen with those different consoles that you chose okay now when you choose them for example i'm gonna take uh, the psp one as an example yeah when you've done this you have to press on path because when you press path you're gonna tell the emulator uh, where it can find the games then i'm gonna press add more and here for example i'm in this uh, i'm in this folder the folder is called uh, psp roms i press on it and i press use this folder now allow now it will sync and find all the files that are in this folder okay that's one thing how you get to roms i'm gonna tell you that at the end of the video in the meantime if you like this kind of video of course subscribe and if you have already have questions about this just ask them down below i'll do my best to answer all of them now i showed you where you can do how you can do the link with the pass to link it to your roms now you press here here you can see this little icon you press it when you press that icon and you scroll a little bit down to player setting when you're at player setting you can press on it and then you see all the all the different emulators actually and i chose for the psp here you can see for which console it is scroll down some bit more we have ps2 psp for psp for example i chose pp sspp that emulator you have different emulators you can see you can see which one works best for your for your smartphone as you know android has a lot of differences and then uh, when you have when you have selected that player uh, that uh, emulator you press save and that's it and then for example when i press here on library I can see the games that were in the paths that I have linked uh, the emulator to. As you can see, it's Need for Speed Underground Rivals, Most Wanted, and Tekken 6. Okay, so that is actually how easy you connect it to the right place so it knows where the ROMs are that you have downloaded before. And uh, 
than the way you choose your emulator so you have the best emulation on your phone and you do actually exactly the same for the other different uh, consoles that you chose for example for the uh, for the GameCube, if I go to the library, I have a couple games here. I call, selected the path where I've put the, the files, very easy. And then I selected, uh, selected uh, the emulator. And like this, you can see I can choose between Mario Kart, Pokemon uh, Colosseum, Pokemon XD and Super Mario Sunshine. Those all are nice games that I own uh, from the GameCube I had before. And if I want to play them now, I can play them on my phone. And also one addition which is very nice, whichever controller you connect, because as you know, to play it, you need to connect your controller via Bluetooth, that's obvious. <laughs> um, uh, you can uh, also connect it via USB cable if you have a uh, OGB cable. Um, once, uh, once you have set it all up, and if you want to play, for example, like Nintendo 64 or PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1, you want to play it with your you want to play it with your friend, then you can connect two controllers and play at the same time with your friend uh, locally on your phone. Which is also very nice is the fact that you can also connect it to your screen and just be playing on your big screen and have it like a console. I'll make videos on that in the future. Now let's see how the gameplay is and let's test some of the emulators I have installed. Let's go. Now let's start the first emulator and test it. Let's start with the PlayStation 2. It's one of the more difficult ones. Let's go to library and let's choose Need for Speed Most Wanted. That's one of the games I like. And now, as you can see, Need for Speed Most Wanted is starting. At the moment, you can see the buttons on the screen, but when the game starts and I start playing, they will actually disappear. Unless I press this button, then they will reappear on the screen. You see? So now we're actually playing a legendary game, Need for Speed Most Wanted. One of the games that made a lot of cars popular. See? Press the button, we can skip this. Restart. So, as you can see, I can play Need for Speed Most Wanted. Here you can see the controls. Since this is a PlayStation 5 controller, it's still very similar to the old controllers. So, it works just the same out of the box. Now, let's see how the gameplay will be. Voila, as you can see now, I'm playing. Oh, that's slow motion. Here's the nitros. So, see, as you can see, I'm playing Need for Speed Most Wanted, the legendary game on my smartphone. And this is not even a high end, high end smartphone, it's just an average phone, uh, the OnePlus 3CE. Uh, and as you can see it works perfectly no issues no lag you can enjoy the game and as i said if you like you can have two controllers connected and play with your friend on your phone locally that's really a good future and right now this doesn't disappear normally it does but there are settings you can do in the settings so it does disappear automatically so that's no issue okay now let's test the second let's test another emulator let's see now we use playstation let's use a uh, Let's test the GameCube for example. Okay, the GameCube and let's use Super Mario Sunshine. And let's see how it is. Now to this emulator actually I didn't set up the buttons of this controller because in some uh, and some emulators, when it's for example, for example, <laughs> when it's for example a GameCube emulator, you need to uh, map your controls uh, to your controller if you're not using a GameCube one. So in this case, I'm going to show it to you guys like this. Okay, let's go. So as you can see, I'm playing the <laughs> Mario Sunshine on the GameCube emulator. You one jump, double jump. Triple jump, no, I missed it. Like this, up, 
as you can see it works perfectly there's no problem at all now where can you find all the roms and all the games online to put in this emulator so you can uh, play the games i'm gonna write two links down in the description you can check them and there you will find roms for a lot of different consoles but keep in mind you can down it's legal i think it's legal to download roms and use them as long as you own the copies for example i like to play the games i own already but i don't like the hustle of all these consoles so i can uh, you can download them if you own the if you own uh, the games already so make sure you always do everything legally i hope you like this uh, i hope you like this video if you like more videos like this just subscribe down below and if you have questions or you want me to show you some other details or make a video about something uh, concerning uh, this application just write it down uh, in the comments and the thanks would be always nice thank you very much let's see you in the next one this was review chinks